Although differing in artistic style, the following 30 images have one element in common with each other. Prior to continuing this video, leave a comment and try to guess what the common element is between all the 30 images currently displayed on your screen. If you don't know what the common element between these 30 images is, but you'd like to find out, stick around, I'll explain the common element partway through this video. Wooden Mask Ancient Galaxy in a Bottle Pink Haired Cat On the screen in front of you, I'm going to display 30 different images. These are all artistic renderings, but they all have one thing in common that you might not expect. See, despite all of the differences in these images and their artistic qualities, these are all produced by the same artist, or should I say, the same script. In fact, these images are all generated by an AI. The AI that I use to generate these images is called Midjourney, and it's currently in beta. This is an AI that uses an artificial neural network that's been trained on a large number of images across the internet. It takes one input, it takes a word or a phrase, and given that input, it generates a totally new, never before seen image that meets criteria it's found in previous images in its data set that appear and have descriptions similar to the input provided by the user, in this case, me. Now the crazy thing about Midjourney is, number one, you can use all the images it generates without having to worry about any type of copyrights because they're distinctly different than anything in its training set even though they may appear to have qualities, artistic qualities, that are similar to what it's been trained on. Now this has implications in a number of domains. In particular, I think we're going to start seeing this used in news and entertainment on the web more and more frequently in place of real photographers and real artists. From a security and privacy perspective, this is actually a big deal. The reason why is because it's likely you're going to start seeing AI-generated images on fake news sites, and before long, you may even see them on real news sites. The sites that are generating fake or dishonest news will use it to make their claim appear more credible, and the sites generating real news are going to use it because it's cheaper than hiring an artist or a photographer. Eventually, the conclusion of all this is that it's not going to be feasible for an average everyday user to use an image or use visual documentation on a website to determine the authenticity of a story. You're going to have to find alternative ways of verifying if a story is true or not. Because there's currently no regulation in the United States of America and I believe around the world in regards to the use of these images, I believe that while this technology is impressive and fun to use, it's going to cause a lot of chaos until proper regulations come in place. 